Hello and welcome back to a beginner's guide to farming simulator 22. This is day two. Uh, what we're going to do today is get rid of the weeds that are in our fields and we're going to fertilize them. So first thing we can do is we hit P on the keyboard. That'll open up our shop menu wherever we are. We look at ooh the discounts for the day. They haven't quite changed. I think we've added one but they change pretty much on a 24 hour schedule but not exactly things come and go now i did notice we have three tractors but we have a very small farm so we probably don't need three tractors but let's pick two of these to sell we got 190 horsepower john deere we have 175 horsepower john deere and 170 horsepower massey ferguson so let's keep our largest tractor just because it'll be able to do the most things uh, the easiest. So from this menu, without even going to the shop, we can just click on sell. It'll sell it right from where it is. That's an extra 74,000 and an extra 76,000 in our bank. Now, there's a couple of ways that we can accomplish weeding. There is... Fertilizer spreaders is not what we want. Sprayers is what we want. Okay. So there's sprayers which will we can fill with fertilizer or herbicide. This would be a two in one. As you can see, they're kind of expensive. This is just an extra tank that goes on the front with this one. Give you more capacity. These are tow behinds. They fold out. They cover a huge distance. I think 33 meters is the biggest. But they work very quickly, but we don't necessarily want to spend thirty, fifty thousand dollars on weeding. Um, but we do have weeders. We have small fields, small farm. We can buy a six meter weeder for nine and a half thousand, and that'll probably be what we do. This one you can also seed grass and oilseed radish and uh, canola with it but we're going to just buy this simple one nine and a half thousand not anything you can change on it we'll buy that that'll do our weeding for us and then for fertilizing we can use those same sprayers we were looking at or we can use the fertilizer spreaders there's also manure spreaders and slurry tanks but you need to have a cow farm set up to be making manure and, and or slurry for those. Um, or you can, in some cases, buy the inputs for those. But it wouldn't make sense to buy those when you can just get a fertilizer spreader. We have this one, which connects directly to the back of the tractor. And then these three are tow behind. Uh, this one and this one, the bread alls will do lime as well. So that's not necessarily a bad thing. The Amazons only do fertilizer. Uh, this is 45,000. That's an extra 20,000 to be able to do lime. And this works in a 12 meter path. That might not be bad. Can we do... We can do narrow tires on it, so that means that you can utilize it on a field after um, after the first growth stage. Oh, we have other options too. Spreading discs. Oh, a six meter spreading unit. So that gets us up to 18 meters wide for an extra $8,000. But we don't need that yet because we don't have any fields that are that big also offers multiple extensions so we can hold 9,000 liters 11,000 liters or 14,000 liters of lime or fertilizer again we don't need that yet but let's go ahead and buy this we'll use that so let's get in our only tractor that remains and we'll get this over to the shop and pick up our new stuff 
Okay, so here we are at the shop. Uh, I brought the tractor, which I should have left our um, weight behind. We'll just set that off over here because what I think we can do with this weeder, I believe that when we hook it to the tractor, it picks it up completely off the ground. I'm going to try to connect this to the front. Yes, so we can get both of our new implements back to the farm at once. We will at some point have to come back for that weight. Well, actually, I believe now we have two weights. Let's see what we have. We do have two weights. So, before we do that, let's bring this one over and sell it. We don't need two weights since we only have one tractor. So if we back into the service area. We'll be able to sell this rear weight. And then it's no longer an issue. Okay, $714 for this. We'll go ahead and sell. Alright. Almost like I did that on purpose. Totally didn't though. Okay, here we go. Look up to our spreader. We'll drive this back to the farm. See you there. Now you might be saying to yourself, wait, this isn't the farm. And you'd be right. Uh, the fertilizer spreader is not going to do us any good if we don't have fertilizer. So if we go into the shop menu. We come to objects, buy pallets of fertilizer, 1,000 liters for 1,920, or big bags of fertilizer, 1,000 liters for 1,820, saves us $100 a bag. Um, that's 1,000 liters. If we go in here and click on our fertilizer spreader, we can hold 9,000 liters, but we don't need 9,000 liters to cover our entire little farm. So, just to be safe, we'll buy two bags. Buy those for 3,640. Now, those spawned over here. The way to get them in, there's multiple ways. You can either have forklift or front loader. Uh, forklift might not work because it's kind of tall, but a telehandler may. Uh, something to scoop up the big bags and hold them over whatever you're putting it in. Or if you pull up right next to it, you can see the top control there, R, will refill. We're just going to hit that and it'll automatically fill out of the bag. Once the first bag's done, we'll hit it again, refill from the second bag. Okay, now I think we're ready to head back to the farm, so I'll see you over there. Okay, we're back at the farm. Now, since we already have the fertilizer spreader hooked to the back, we'll go ahead and drop this weeder off the front. Now, what we want to do is hit G to make sure that the front tool is selected, and then Q to drop it. And we'll get ourselves into position on the field. We hit F1. So this has one spread width. The, the sprayers and some fertilizer spreaders have partial widths that you can adjust. So you can do a narrower spray than the machine will do. And you can also turn off um, one half of it, like if you're doing along the edge of a field sometimes. But we don't have that on this, so we're just going to spray the whole thing. We'll pull ourselves onto the field. I think we'll be about here. We'll cover to the edge. Oh, I like to zoom out a little bit so I can see where it's actually going. And then if we hit B, it'll start coming out. Oh yeah, we actually could have gone over a little bit more, but that's okay. And since these fields are right in a line, we'll just drive right down both fields and then all the way back and that should be good we might miss a little bit in the middle 
but we can check the map to see if we've missed any. Go ahead and hit B to stop it there. Now I know we've missed this corner up here. We'll back up to it a little bit. Turn it back on. Go along the edge here. Try to sweep and get that whole corner. And try to stay out far enough that we're covering the whole distance we didn't get on the first pass. Now since we didn't fertilize on the first day, this is only going to give us one level of fertilizer. You can get up to two levels of fertilized uh, through different methods. Some of the cedars you can fertilize right with them as you go. Turn that off before we hit the house. All right, let's look at the map and see how we did. Zoom into our fields here. We go over to soil composition. We're gonna turn off weeds. Turn off rolling, turn off lime, turn off stones. All right, so we have the lighter blue. You can see some of the fields around us are the darker blue. That's fully fertilized. This is half fertilized. So these two fields, which we actually covered all except for the tiniest little sliver in the corner here, uh, are fully or halfway fertilized. What we can do, since we have narrow tires on our fertilizer, is put narrow tires on our tractor and the next month go and fertilize it again if we want. Uh, you can only get one fertilizer stage from one method of fertilizing per growth cycle. So if we were to go and spray fertilizer on this field again right now, it wouldn't do anything extra. It would just waste fertilizer. So let's go fertilize this field. Turn it on. Make sure we're hitting the edge. Now you see what we have left. The fertilizer is less than what we've already fertilized. That's where those partial widths on some of the machines come in handy because we wouldn't have to overspray either side. We could save fertilizer by spraying just wide enough to fertilize that, but not a huge deal. And we don't have huge fields, so it's not like a, a really large monetary difference. Um, when you get into much bigger farming, things like that um, really play into maximizing your profit for a field. There we go. Now we are fully fertilized. We're fully covered with fertilizer. So we'll park this somewhere. Underneath this tree looks good. And we'll go and hook up to our weeder. So the weeder is folded right now. If you hit X, it'll unfold the weeder. And then there's not a whole lot more to a weeder than that. We'll start in this corner here. We'll do this field. Now you can see the weeds are the separate looking plants in the field. And if you look at the field info, it says we have small weeds, which we can use a weeder for. If you let your weeds get too big, you'll either need a hoe if they're medium-sized or herbicide to kill it. Um, 
and once they get bigger than that I don't think you can do much to it but you can see that we're 50% fertilized and we have a 50% yield bonus a plus 50% yield bonus if we were to have limed this and rolled it on the first day get rid of these weeds and then fully fertilize we get up to like a 98% yield bonus um, I believe the only way you can get to 100% is if you're on certain crops, you mulch also, and you have bees nearby, something along those lines. 98% is usually the best you can do on most fields. Um, and basically any work you do to it is going to come back to you in profits. So we'll just line up here, drop this down. You just drag this along, and you can see it clears out the area. You can see behind us is the nice dark green of just the crop, as opposed to the other plants there. And if we turn weeds back on, you can clearly see that it's cleaning it right up. So I'll go ahead and weed all three of these fields, and then I'll get back with you. Okay, that is the fields fully weeded. We look on the map. Oh, apparently we missed just a couple little spots on field 44 and 46. Uh, we can see if we can find those. So one of the good things on the map that shows you as an arrow. So we're just the right where this one little spot is. I don't necessarily see any weeds. Let's see if we can get them anyway. I think we got the first one. Looks like there's some down here right next to the edge. Now this little bit of weeds isn't really going to make that much of a difference in yield. I got that one. And the other set looks like it's about here somewhere. Yeah, this little bit of weeds that you can't even see isn't going to make much difference in the yield. But if you're a completionist and you like your fields to be a solid color and fully worked you can go ahead and do stuff like this okay that one's complete 45 is complete let's see if we can grab that little line in 44 I'm just hitting V to raise the weeder to drive around Let's use the map to find this. Okay. 
So it's somewhere in this section of the field. Like we'll go over it if we drop right here. And that's it. We got it. We are fully weeded. So we'll go ahead. I'm going to hit X to fold it. And v to raise it. We'll go put the weeder away somewhere. Uh, this side of the silo looks inviting. So we'll drop that there. Aha! That's where our other weight is. Let's see if we can nudge this out. Get it in an orientation where we can pick it up. It might work for us. It was facing the wrong direction. And there we go. So now we have the weight hooked back up. We can leave that on there for now. It ain't going to hurt anything. We'll park this tractor in our barn. Try to make sure we're not going to fall in a hole. Alright. So now our fields have a layer of fertilizer on them. They don't have weeds. They do need lime. I'm not sure if you could lime them at this point or not. Um, usually I lime after I cultivate, before I seed. Rolling needs to be done just after seeding, before the first growth stage. And stones, usually you pull out of the field right after cultivation. We'll do all of that next time around after we harvest these fields. Um, but for now, we're going to call that a day. That's a day's worth of work right there. It's only 10 o'clock in the morning. We'll take the rest of the day off, and I will see you tomorrow and in the next episode. Have a good one. Bye!